Paul Stark back at pool again tonight, guesting for the Pirates. How does it feel to be back at pool? Yeah, it's good. You know, I know this place pretty well, so um, easy decision for us when uh, when we got the call and was asked to guess. So another meeting for us and just trying to stay on the bike. They picked up the meeting the other night with the Pirates up at Wolverhampton. Team did well, nearly got that to win, but yourself, a little bit of a struggle on track yeah, there. Yeah, really struggled to be honest. Um, struggled quite a lot <laughs> lately with um, with fitness problems really, um, a few bad crashes at the start of the year, so just getting through those at the moment, but found a few problems and you know we, we fixed those now, so just look look to uh, do well tonight and um, fingers crossed. Now it's not that long since you've come back from that injury, your dad's been working hard on the bikes as well because they were pretty smashed up, How, how's the camp feeling now, are you feeling better, are you feeling you know flexible and ready to go? Yeah, I, yeah I'm good enough, I think um, I am getting better, every day's better, so um, yeah, just need to stay on the bike and uh, hopefully start putting some points in and get some uh, get some confidence back in back to winning ways. Against Leicester tonight, great team. They're doing very very well this year, so it's it's going to be another tough night, isn't it? It's going to be tough. I think you know every meeting's tough. You don't know what's in store, what's going to happen. So uh, approach all of them with the same mentality, if you like, and uh, just try and try and do what you can do. You know, try and pop out the start and win some races. How's life at the top of the country there at Glasgow? It's it's a long way, <laughs> it's a long way for us. But um, everywhere is, you, you you have to travel in this game. So uh, we're used to that. We've done quite a lot of travelling. So um, it is tough, but you know we're, we're managing okay. And uh, it's it's been tough there as well. But I'm hoping that things are going to start to pick up for the team and for myself personally. It's a fantastic setup up there. I mean, the guys you, you see it in the Speedway Star, and we see it online all the time. They, they're just working so hard up there to promote the sport well, aren't they? Yeah, sure. You know, I think um, probably one of the best setups in the country, um, and they know what they want. Um, I think they deserve to win, win some stuff now as well. I think it's their time. So I've gone there to try and help them do that. And I think with the team that we got, we're capable. But we need to all fire together and and start settling in a bit and get over some of the issues that we got. So. Fingers crossed uh, the weekend will be the start of that. Now I've got to mention the fact that you're now technology savvy this year because uh, we're helping you along with the uh, social media, with your Twitter and your Facebook and so on. And recently over Twitter, we've seen a couple of great pictures that have been put on and some good interaction with photographers and the fans as well. Uh, how are you enjoying seeing that and having that reaction and, and reading the comments from the fans that are directed to you? Well, I think it's good. You know, I think uh, the fans appreciate the time and the effort and you know you build a relationship with them really as well and they want to know what's going on so uh, you know we work hard with that you know that so um, yeah it's really good to, to be a part of that and and get the feedback that we're getting. I think it's important for the fans to know as well that whilst Speedway Portal we help you with that and we monitor it because you've got to concentrate on your racing they do need to know that you do read it and when you comment the comments are coming from you, it's an official account, isn't it? Yeah, sure, you know, everything that, that is on there is from me, it's my words. Um, and, yeah, I think it, it's sometimes it's hard to to get as much out as you can, but we, we try and give something back now and give a bit more back and keep people more informed and more involved, and they appreciate that, and it's good to see the feedback. So what we really want is we want a few more followers on there, obviously, and we want them to be a bit more interactive, and if they want to know anything about Start Racing, they can ask you direct and know that it's coming from you. Yep, follow me, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah follow him. <laughs> well, we're about to follow him into the stadium, so we're going to let you go, Paul. Have a safe night tonight. Ride safe, ride fast, and uh, let's get a hat full of points and then Pirates win, hopefully. Yep, sure. Cheers, man. Thanks, guys. Paul, from a rider's perspective, you've been out on that track. You've looked at the track. What's your thoughts on it? Would have been really hard work. Um, I think uh, if you're on your own, you could probably just you could ride around, but with four riders on the track, it would have been really, really difficult. And uh, just in the end a little bit too dangerous to be honest. Correct decision? I think so, you know, we, we want to race, we don't want to just try and get round and we don't want anyone getting hurt, so uh, the right decision today I think. A lot of you riders have travelled a long way to get here, but after you travelling and seeing the track and still saying, yeah, you know what, it's the right decision and it's, it's unfortunate, at least uh, the fans know that it is truthful and genuine and it's just one of those things with this sport. Sometimes you can't help it. I think uh, there was a lot of moisture on the track yesterday and uh, you, you can't stop that, you know, and I think a lot of water got in and just made, made it far too soft in places um, and it would not have been raceable today. Someone would have probably got pretty hurt, so uh, right decision, although it's not a very good decision. You know, we, we've all travelled a long way, but um, it was definitely the right decision. OK, well, uh, have a safe trip home and thank you for your time. No problem. Cheers, guys.